Ahoy there, and welcome. This is Captain Dad, and today we're going to be playing a little puzzle game called Yono and the Celestial Elephants. Don't really know a whole lot about this game. I just sort of uh, picked this one up on a whim, so we'll see how it goes. Hi, I'm Sundara. I saw you fall from the sky. What kind of thing are you? Well met, Sundara. My name is Yono. I'm an elephant. I'm a human. Nice to meet you. I'm on the lookout for an adventure, which is why I'm out here in the wilderness. Then I saw this big shiny star fall from the sky and I figured that could be a good place to look. That's how I found you so quick. That's what I'm here for, too. I am ready for an adventure. There's a small village just up ahead. It's called Wind Hill. That's where I was when I saw the star. Come on, I'll take you there. Follow me. Oma's Peninsula. Little turtle. I'll smash the plastic in Zelda. I think that. These big boulders are blocking the path. I just jumped over them before, but maybe you will want to find another solution. No offense. I wager even rocks like these are no match for that mighty skull of yours. I'll see you down the road. Try and keep up. Wow, you really pulverized those boulders. How strong are you? I bet you can push this big heavy box around like it was nothing. Just keep walking right into it for a while until it starts moving. Really put your back into it, you know? Personally, I can't even budge it. Well, I'll run ahead. Don't dawdle. <laughs> It's, every time she jumps off like that, she's, it sounds like she's farting. <laughs> Look at all these dandelions! Don't you want to just blow them all out? <laughs> It's a cute little game so far, but the, the controls are a little clunky and awkward.
But it looks nice. The colors are nice. I'm sure I left them somewhere around here. I think I lost them when I was resting beneath a tree. Okay. Ooh. I'm still looking for your lost marbles. I already read that. Beneath a tree. A tree like that again. Oh, heh. What to do? What to do? Oh, what are you? I am an elephant. I have come to this realm to help the people in need. Why, that is certainly grand, for I am indeed in need. Do you see my crops over there? I just can't get them to grow. Why not? What do they need? Beats me. Maybe they just need some water. It has been rather dry as of late. Maybe you can find a tub of water somewhere and fill up that prolonged proboscis of yours. That certainly sounds like a job for me. I'm on it. Here. Oh, there's a tub of water. my plants grow. That was certainly the most glorious display of nose action I have ever seen. At least since my grandma sneezed that one time. Oh. <laughs> I made the point Let's go back up here, because I is there a tree? Oh yeah, those are the marbles. You found my lost marbles. Fantastic! Now I can go right back to business. How can I ever repay you? Not necessary at all. I'm happy to help. You deserve a reward. I'll give you 300 coins. What do you think about that? Please keep your money. As an elephant, I'm just here to help. I don't want anything in return. I'm just doing what I am here to do. Really? Elephants are truly magical. It's nice to have one walk the earth again. It's been ages since the last time there was an elephant. You know what I will do? I will travel to Nightingale City and donate the coins to the monk at, monks at the temple instead. That sounds like a very good idea. Fantastic. Thanks again, Mr. Elephant, for all you, for all your help. I'm assuming that's meant to say. I'm so happy you are here. Just wait until the people in the capital city hears about your arrival. A little bit of a... Uh... A little, little grammatical errors, but that's alright. <laughs> Ahoy there! Yona, look at this sleeping boy I found. Can we keep him? Judging from his clothes and his shaped head, I'd wager he's a monk from the temple in the city, but we can hardly be more than a novice. And that makes me wonder what he is doing all the way out here. Or perhaps what he should be doing instead of dozing off. Wouldn't it be hilarious to wake him up in a really startling fashion? Maybe I should yell really loudly in his ear. No, wait. Let's splash a bucket of water in his face. That would certainly be a right laugh. Don't you think he'll be upset? Look at it this way. He is most likely here in Wind Hill for a reason. Some pilgrimage or mission or something. And if that is the case, he probably shouldn't be sleeping like this in the first place. In fact, I bet he'll be thankful if you wake him up. Alright, this should be... Okay. 
Oh, what? What's going on? I'm awake, I'm awake! Hello there, sleepyhead. My name is Sundara, and this is my friend Yona. He's an elephant. Hi, Sundara. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Kai, and I... Wait, did you say elephant? Ivory above, you really are an elephant. You have the trunk and the ears and everything. I, I can't believe my eyes. Believe it, Buster. He looks just like that big statue in the town square. Then it is true. All of it. That means these are blessed times indeed. I'm glad my presence means so much to you. I, but I wouldn't exactly say. It means everything. Most people nowadays regard elephants as creatures of men if they know of all, uh, if they know of you at all. There have been over a thousand years since this world was last visited by an elephant, and the memories from those times have transformed to fancy legends of fairy and fairy tales. The temple in Nightingale City is trying to keep the old traditions alive, but we are only a handful of monks nowadays, and desperate enough to, to initiate just about anyone, it seems. Ha ha ha! Sindara, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. It's, it's true, though. I was sent here to Windmill, Windhill on a, on a mission, though what that mission is was never really specified. I suspect they just wanted me out of the temple for a while, after the incident with the tapestry and the soup, and the cat, and the ancient vase. Oh man, I wish I could have seen that. But I'm glad I'm here now, and get to see Yono the elephant with my own eyes. I must guide you back to Nightingale City. How surprised the other monks will be when I, the Lost Hope, turn back together with the next elephant. I'm from Nightingale City as well, and that's where all the real action is. Now that Yono is here, we should totally spread the good news to all the people of the kingdom. Uh, okay. We'll head north from here, through Hedgehog Forest. Come on, let's go already! Yeah, I don't think I'm a good guy yet. Plenty more to check out here. The old man who lives down over there is so, so scary. He's the village undertaker, and, and, and he's a zombie. A zombie? What do you mean? I mean, he's not alive. He's no less a corpse than those he has undertaken to undertake. He's wearing a long black cloak. His hands are cold as the breath of death, and his face is as white as bone. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. What are you doing here by his house, then? I want to get a good look at him, of course. This is so exciting. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. Hello, stranger. You are new to these lands. Yes. Yes, I am. In fact, I just landed. I've never seen an elephant before. They say it is an omen of good things to come for both the living and the dead. I am one of the Bone Whites. We are the walking remains of the long time dead, eternally enjoying the beauty of this world. I've never met a dead person before. How come you do not lie buried in the ground yourself? It is because of the Sunder Garden. Hundreds of years ago, a huge battle took place in the fields that are now called the Sunder Garden. The two armies were the largest the world had ever seen, and so equal in strength that not one of them could defeat the other. The bloodbath lasted for days until a single warrior was left standing. There was no victor. But the dead bodies of the warriors sank into the earth like seeds, and these ancient cadavers are now sprouting bone whites like me. We spring from the ground like flowers and exist in this world without aging or dying. The Sunder Garden is our home. It sounds like a place of wonder. The Sacred Cemetery is the most beautiful place on this earth. What are you doing in Windhill? I work here as the village undertaker. This is a nice little place and the task of the grave digger suits me. 
The humans think of it as a lowly and undignified job, but to me it makes little difference if I dig holes in the ground or if I do something else. The status of my occupation holds no value, so I might as well dig graves. It also puts me in contact with a lot of deceased human bodies, which are objects I can find, I can find endless fascination in. Death is a curious thing, is it not? What is the Sunder Garden like? The humans call it the city-state of the Bone Whites, but I don't see it that way. The humans in Makani think of it as think of it as a city because they like cities and can only describe the world in terms they know. But the Sunder Garden have no walls or houses, no farms or trading posts. We need not eat nor sleep, so why should we build these things? Material goods, which seem so important to the humans, are, irre or are irrelevant to us, and such things would only disturb the peacefulness of the place. I already saw all that. It's pretty interesting. Let's see what else there is to do. I do want to try to get enough money to... Get a new uh, skin from the barber shop. A robot. Good day, sir. Bang, aren't you a strange creature? If you don't mind me asking, sir, what exactly are you? I am an elephant. My name is Yono. You're a pretty strange one yourself. Oh, not at all, sir. I am a Mikani. I come from the robotic city-state of Freehaven. If you are wondering what I am doing down here at Windville, sir, the answer is that I am on vacation. Did you know, sir, that Freehaven was founded by the Makani almost 300 years ago? It is our own glorious city-state, and we are even governed by our own robotic laws. Freehaven is still part of the kingdom, mind you, sir, and subject to the human queen. That's why I can travel all the way to this picturesque little village without any passport or anything. What a time to be alive. Alright. Can I pick up that chicken? Haha. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that just takes me like Nope, that's not where I want to go. Parts of this really do remind me of Zelda. Okay, this is testing in here. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Whoops. Um... Uh -huh. 
right. Oh, I have to do this again. So I wonder if there ends up being a central objective in this game, or if it's mostly just like exploration, just kind of figuring out what to do, just from picking up hints and stuff. Need one more. All right, we'll go up here and take this little short cut back. Is there anything else? Before I go, I guess I'll take one more look at the barber shop here. Oh. That one. I really want the A one. I don't quite have enough for it though. You better watch out, you know. There are a couple of rogue goblins down in the valley, and they seem to have blocked the path with a fire. Rob goblins? What are they? Predatory and aggressive little scavengers. Because of their weapons and armor, they look a bit like people, but they're really not. They're just attracted to metals and will carry around anything they can find, steal or plunder. They're just like what my mom says our lives would be like without a structured society. Nasty, brutish, and short. <laughs> Ever since I can remember, I have always wanted to believe in the stories. That's why I became a monk in the first place, to learn more about the mystical elephants who come to our world every millennium, to restore balance and harmony in a realm of chaos. And now, we are here, which confirms my beliefs and brings a purpose to my whole life. I was so lost. I'm terribly sorry for the state of the world, you know. There are rob goblins all over the place, and it's a real hassle to travel between cities. I'm afraid you'll have to see a fight or two before we reach our journey's end. I'll certainly do my best. I have faith in you. Well, obviously. But you know what I mean. Oh, 
Yeah, I'll tell them for one of those heart container pieces. Lots of cute little... Ooh, that must be the raw goblins they were talking about. By the Queen's order, Hedgehog Tunnel has been filled with traps. This is in an attempt to keep the rob, rob goblins out. Please proceed with caution. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Thanks. What's that? Very cool. That's what I wanted. Alright. Well, we can go get that. But I want to. I don't know if I want to backtrack yet. Let's see. All right.
The cable raft system is out of order during low tide. Sorry for the, the inconvenience. Alright, I know what I might have to do there. Who's this? The Hedgehog Queen? <gasps> Hello! Bet you didn't expect to meet me here. How? Can you guess how I got here? I snuck on a train and rode it all the way to this weird tunnel. It was awesome. It was the best. I'm glad to hear that. But this tunnel is full of traps and rob goblins. It could be dangerous. Yeah, I know. I'm not really going to venture further into the tunnel. I just wanted to ride the train. I'm going to sneak back onto one and go home to Wind Hill again. By the way, do you want me to tell you something about trains? I know a lot about trains. Okay. Whenever you arrive at a new place, it's a good habit to seek out and check in at the train station so that you can quickly travel there again in the future. That's all for me. Time to ride the train back to Wind Hill. Train. Wind Hill. Well, let's go back to Wintel then. <gasps> Did you know that the Bakani built a whole network of subterranean railways all over the kingdom? One day I'm going to ride a train all the way to Nightingale City, but I'm too small to ride that far. Can the railroads take you anywhere? Yes, all the major cities and lots of other places as well. But you'll have to visit the cities first by yourself before you can take a train there. That's why I'm not allowed to ride yet. In the meantime, I wear my trusty adventure helmet. That's me. All right. Okay, so that's the train station. Okay. I see now. Let's uh, let's do this first. Welcome, adventurer. This is your health token exchange service speaking. How can I help you today, sir? Token exchange? Indeed, sir. This is the place to trade in your health tokens for extra health containers. One brand new container is four tokens. I see. So whenever you have collected four health tokens, you can come to me or to one of my associates and exchange them for one more health container, which will increase your maximum health. That's very nice of you. I'll certainly bring health tokens back here when I find them. Always glad to be of service, sir. Have a good day. Well, let's get a token. Sweet.
Alright. Let's go get that airbender. Oh! Let's get it. Sweet. I love it. Alright. Now let's go back to the train station and keep going. he use coins for other than just the barber shop. Yeah, they they're really handed out these health tokens. <laughs> Why am I having so much trouble with this? Uh, there we go. Okay, that must be the way back. Oh no, <laughs> that was going to be stuck there. Yeah. 
Interesting. Okay. That's a pretty quick timer. Oh, I see. So that was bad. This is certainly making Jaden K more complicated. That was worth it. Really? At least the rock goblin is back. Okay, let's see here. to go over there to do it.
trying to figure out what I need to do with that. Really, I need to use it. Like that. How would I even get it back? Okay, well, if you give me two seconds to end this report. Uh -oh. I just stopped the stream anyway. Um, or recording and get it back on my other one. She just pushed my hand out of the way. Alright, let me, let me end this. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this one here for today. Um, we'll figure out what to do with that uh, water box uh, next time. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next episode.